Welcome to Cam's Art Out the Fire. Uh, this I'm currently doing a um, as a project for myself. I'm ooh, I'm currently making up a uh, new suit of armor for myself. Um, I'm currently going to be making up one of these. Uh, this one here. Um, it's going to be a mixture of lamellar hard boiled hard boy leather lamellar or wax hardened leather with carvings on the shoulders and arm braces. Um, I'm going to be using this image here for doing the shoulder guards for section here and I'm going to be using the the crew motif for the braces what is got these bits uh, I'm going to be doing it as a wet form carving once they've been carved up and shaped to where, what I want I'm going to be um, hardening them within uh, leather and shaping and forming them that way as well um, so it's going to be a more I'm going to this is going to be a, a, a long uh, project that I'm going to do for myself I've also quickly sketched up a up here for how to make up the uh, the lamellar for the chest the piece that I'm going to need rough idea for the um, shoulders and the brace um, so yeah, I'm going to be doing that shortly. I'm going to quickly make up a quick pattern for it. And yeah, I'll see you in a sec. Alrighty. I've quickly sketched up a... Ba this is from my basic kit uh, brace for making archery arm guards. I'm going to slightly modify it so I'd actually make it into a solid steel... Uh, solid hardened leather brace. This is going to be my shoulder. This is going to have the onto it and this one's gonna have that on it here I've got uh, layers of leather panels so that way I've got I've got the one section here and then it's gonna have these two these extra panels to go on top and I'm gonna do uh, two of these sections for each arm yeah, or each shoulder I should say and yeah from there and I made a quick template for making up the um, what you call it? the lames for the lamellar and yeah so I'm gonna do a, I'm gonna quickly cut grab some leather cut this out I'm gonna be using 3.5 mil um, leather for this I it's what I've got in the unit at the moment. I um, haven't been able to get out to the local tannery in the last couple of weeks. Uh, but yeah, so I'm gonna start working on this, so yeah. Right, these are going to be my two arms, uh, forearms, braces. Um, I've got four of these, four, 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 two. That will be the main parts of the armor body, uh, not the body. The shoulders I still haven't punched the holes of these but they these ones here have been cut out and I've quickly done around the edges smoothed them out with the, um, the beveler uh, these will get punched and sit and riveted together like so then I'm going to be putting in the back straps in to put them together but I'm going to be doing these as a carving demonstration um, as a start so you guys can see what I do when I do leather carving so yeah uh, I'm gonna go and wet these and get them ready alrighty just learnt that I got a remote for this camera so I'm gonna be doing the uh, tracing onto some baking paper to transfer the images onto the, the leather and just quickly do the rough outlines Thank you. 
that's the quick way. Oh, okay. Now that I've done that, now I'm able to um, make that into uh, stencil that onto the leather. But I'm going to firstly do the crow onto the arm braces first. So. so, leather. Why aren't you sitting properly today? Doesn't sit still. Make sure you wet it, wet it down. Let it absorb the water. Make sure it's all evenly coated. This is why I'm using a sponge. Then pop it to a side and let it absorb the, the water until it's dries and it's dry to the touch but cool. And that's sucked up a lot of that water really quickly so it's not quite saturated properly there so, so let's get it completely wet you want to have the center wet but the surface is uh, starting to dry out that little bit and this leather must be fairly old because it's starting to it's sucking this water really like it's dry stylus to do the transfer so stylus got a um, spoony bit on the back on the back part point on the on this end so I'll be using that once this dries okay now that it's cold uh, the leather is starting to dry out that little bit it's soft and it's nearly dry on the surface and it's soft, it's cool, but not um, sopping wet. You s use the, wrap it with the, air. Ah, I'm having problem speaking. Um, take the, the, the sketch that you've done with the tracing paper, or the grease proof paper I've got here. Um, get your stylus, and you start going around, drawing onto the leather with a little bit of pressure. So that way you've got you transfer the image onto the leather and you'll do this as a, a start it to start transferring it onto the image onto the paper so that way it would also transfer onto the leather Try and do it so you don't make the, um, the paper move as well. That's why I've got my hand on it. So you could possibly wrap the um, leather with lab wrap and then stick this onto it with a bit of sticky tape as a, an option. But I'm, I've got enough pressure on here so it's not going to move. Alrighty, now that we've traced on, now I'm going to do the, uh, using the, uh, brain just went. Uh, 
use the skiving knife. I just realised it's still a bit wet. I'll just wetten it down again. And just run the knife around the, the lines, make them a bit deeper and wider. Alrighty, now I've got a edging tool to go around all the outside of this and then I'm going to be coming back and working with a let's see if this will do it. No. Okay, I've got a textured tool and a smooth one. The smooth one's just to go around the outside, the textured one's to go in and do some shading and texture on the inside. If you get lumps like this, you just use the smooth tool again, and just run it along the and smooth it out. It means it will smooth out the hammer marks so you don't have as pronounced hammers marks there. Where it's here you can still see, oh, I'm not sure if you can still see. You can still see the hammer marks here, where I've just run the, the smooth side on here, along here it actually removes most of the marks. So do that all the way around, and we'll come back and do the texturing. Do this for all the other, uh, to work out all the lines inside the gaps. So, yeah. Oh. Just realised I might have just made a mistake. Yep, I've just made a mistake. <laughs> uh, it's okay. Uh, we'll come back to that uh, and yeah, we'll see you in a bit. Alrighty. Now that you've gone around and done all the texturing, texturing. I now need to put in on the edges here to actually smud, uh, merge them so they actually uh, smooth in a bit more. You know, that way they'll stand, pop a bit more when I do it. So, so go around the edges. So using kind of like a spoon shaped bit on the back of the um, stylus that I've got. Moves out some of those texture marks near the edges.
but not completely that it actually wipes out all the texture. Just want it to smooth it out a tiny little bit. Gives it a bit more contrast. Now that just needs to dry until drying stage, so yeah. So catch you soon. While they're still slightly wet, get yourself a drink bottle of some form or something with a cone shape at the tip and just bend your brace over the top of it and let it start to set like so. Because that way. It'll hold like so, so it can actually hold the shape that little bit better. So yeah, because you want it so when it's ready, it'll come to fit around your arm that little bit better. The other way to do it is actually to strap it to your actual arm. Or you could just work it like I'm working. Just make it into a cone shape. It's the other way. work it up slightly at the section here so it actually makes a slight bulb up and put it to the side to dry okay now they're reasonably dry I'm going to be dyeing these up uh, I've got a bit of bur uh, maroon here dark maroon and I'm gonna be just dip I'm gonna be doing the ref I'm gonna be going over this with a, a dark black over the over the um, the crow motif but I want these more maroon to go with the rest of the costume that I've been doing. So.
do both of them and then yeah then I'll be hardening them in the wax so. okay it's the next day uh, I realized the camera stopped filming when I did this one so I actually shaped and formed and carved all this up while uh, last night uh, it got to about two o'clock in the morning when I actually realized what time was and had to stop but I didn't seal this one because I, I realized I didn't film it so this has now been dyed the dye is now set the images has been gone over with ink uh, with a, a pen to actually make it stand out that little bit more so you can actually see what it looks like now so in this container here I have got a uh, some leather sealer uh, that is a, a good little one for using for doing this job um, I'm gonna seal this let it dry and then once it's dry I'm going to take them into the um, kitchen area where I'm gonna have some a pot of wax hot wax to dip these in and actually coat them in make them so they actually stay hard and stay in the shape that they're meant to be so I'm just gonna quickly coat this one with the with the sealer and then yeah from there we go on try and put a couple of good coats on it because this will absorb in quite quickly should really be using a thicker, more pronounced, uh, more pronounced brush. Just realise I'm not doing any shot. But yeah, just give it a good coating. Give it a couple of good coats. Make sure it's all sealed because um, you want to try and keep the front uh, so it doesn't have the um, the wax go and merge and make the, the the slider section go dark so you want to make sure you fill that in and um, seal it all in because we want to have, put the wax inside it but it's not on all the way through but just on the inside seal so the sealer is just to stop the dye from running basically Yeah, there's already some sections that are already starting to get tacky and dry. So if you've been enjoying this, let me know. Um, like, comment and subscribe and give me that thumbs up and let me know what's going on. Um, if you want to see more of this kind of stuff, because... Um, at the moment, I'm while I'm in lockdown, I'm currently just doing some projects for myself and a couple of other little odds and ends just to keep me going. Um, also, this gives me a chance to show you guys my different skill bases that I can do as well. So, uh, Alrighty, pop that to the side. Now, this is for the arms that I did just uh, on the start of the video. These are just about ready to be, they're actually now dry enough to do the job that I'm doing. You can actually now see the black crow and the brown has now separated, so you can actually see what I've done. Uh, I used black dye instead of ink on this one. Uh, I actually had access to, I've uh, got a a little bit of dye, our uh, black dye that I could do this with. So, but yeah, it makes the. It's not quite poppy, but it's also if you're up close, you can see it. But from a distance, it does look like one piece. So, but yeah. Um, so yeah. And when when this one dry, when the other one drops when. Ooh, when this one dries, it will look more like this one. So, 
so it's all dry, image is seeable, sends out that little bit. Right. That way you can actually see what's coming on. From here we'll do, I might chuck a couple of holes up the top of both of these and the corners here so I can do the next section. The next section, I haven't decided yet how I'm doing that yet. Um, the front section panel, these bits. Um, I'm moment and worrying about putting another carving in the front of these. Whoa, I'm trying to keep that stand. In here somewhere to actually make them stand out that little bit more. Uh, make them a little bit more interesting. So I'll, I'll let you know when I come up with it. Alrighty, I've decided to do uh, a bear motif. So I can use this for my rat character or for the north. For the north, the bear symbol actually means beyond. And in the rats is because they're a Kislev warband, their their main symbol for a uh, their main symbol for Kislev is actually a bear, so I've, I've used it as a crossover. Um, done some tracing, a uh, couple of images, one left, one right, facing. So I'm going to have one of each traced onto each. So one left, one right. Actually, more one right, uh, one left, one right, I should say. Then, when once they're traced on, I'm going to carve them start carving them and I'm going to tool these like I did the rest of these ones ready to to get tempered uh, once I carve them I'm going to dye these and then uh, seal them and let them get ready to do the, the temp or the hardening point I still haven't decided if I'm going to work on the smaller panels will go on the sides of these uh, if I'm going to put anything on them or not uh, this will be a probably a choice that I'm going to have to think about once I finish these four uh, because these will be actually like so so yeah so I'm, I'm working on them slowly slowly uh, once I've worked all this rest of the little bits done I'll be on to the next bit so I'll catch you in a bit Alrighty, now that uh, I've got this um, carved up, dyed and sealed, and I just need to attach it to, I've decided to actually leave those uh, blank. I'm going to attach it to the, the leather, uh, there, the rivets should eventually look like this one. I've got four of these and I'll be attaching it to the shoulder panel, so, and then we'll be hardening. Okay, I put these ones into the wax and got them hardened. So they're literally now sound like they're actually plastic now, but the the coloration has completely darkened off. Very like literally, it nearly looks completely black now. Um, so yeah, I'm actually thinking I might not actually do pop these in to actually dye them because I don't want them to go black like these had. Um, so I'm thinking I might actually give this a keep these as soft because I'm going to be wearing these over chainmail so it should be okay if I leave them like this. Uh, I'll just pop the rivet on that one because I was moving it around before. I'm going to have to re-rivet it but whoa. So yeah, I've got those hardened, so... Okay, I've added in the, the straps by uh, making a belt. Same way of making the, uh, the actual leather belt that I did previously, so... Basically, I just rivet, put a hole in, riveted in, and I strapped points here and here. And I also added two holes up the top so I can add a bit of thong so I can actually mount it to my leather shoulders. And yeah, so these are... The finished shoulders. I will be. I do need to work on the um, the braces, so 
I'm trying to work out do I add the um, strapping to those as well. So yeah, like, comment and subscribe and I'll catch you on the next one.